Ramnax, how you doing, brother? I am good, Echo. How are you? I'm hot I'm... as hell, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. I'm cold as shit, so, uh, you know, li life chugs along. So, my question for you is twofold. Okay. The first is, how are you liking Sotor, and do you have a favorite character? Okay, um, loving, uh, Star Wars, absolutely enjoying it. It is, look, the game is aged, not gonna lie to you. Uh, the graphics is not horrible, but not great. The gameplay is definitely subpar. Um, like, you play that, and then you play something like The Last Jedi, and it's it's quite clear, right, that, that there is oh, really yeah. no comparison between these games. Uh, and I'm not saying that it had to be an action combat game, but still, the story really carries that game. The story, the the atmosphere, the world, it carries it. Um, I just literally last night went on, and I don't know what the fuck these quests are, but so you have this little triangle, which means a quest, and then there's a little plus sign next to the triangle, right? So those are exploration missions. So um, you have... Um, oh, actually, they're either exploration missions or they're heroic missions, one of the two. But there are, um, there are like, these heroic missions that give you, like, that are meant to be, like, group content and stuff that you yeah. tackle. So I'll... I'll and, I'll tell you what questline I did last night, and I found it incredible. I'm on Taurus. I'm basically done with Taurus. I, I just have to meet the doctor now at his spaceship, at my spaceship, and then I can leave. And then I get this quest, and this quest basically sends me to a camp, and the, the soldiers at the camp wants to pack up and fucking leave. They're no longer going to be there because everyone keeps dying to this mysterious Rakul that can use the Force. And then you go on this entire investigative mission where you need to figure out what is driving these Rakul. Um, like, why do they use the Force and shit, right? Um, so that was the, the quest that I did. And it's basically a chain of quests, which was absolutely incredible. Sorry. Yes, sir, I'm next. What's the, what's the next part of your question? Do you have a favorite character so far? All right. Um, yes, but I don't know their name. And I only met them in the cinematics. I've not met them in the game yet. So in the so which game... Which character are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Jedi Knight. Um, okay. Yeah, Jedi Knight. The only character that I've met so far that's kind of cool is the... In the game, though, is the Chancellor or the Mayor or something of the Republic... On the first, like, Coruscant. Whoever's in charge of Coruscant. She's pretty cool. Um, oh, Suresh? I don't know if it's Suresh. I, I, names and me, not great. Um, Fair enough. She's, a, she's a, a female human. And she, like, when you get to Coruscant, you, you basically do a bunch of quests for her where you find out that she was, cor or she used corrupted means in order to get into power. And, and you know, but oh, you, you yeah. have to sort of okay. forgive her. I know. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I know. She's a senator. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I kind of like her. She's she's like a, a cool-ish character. And then the other one that I like, but I've not made in the game yet, is whoever the sister of the twins are. In the cinematics, that was incredible. Like, watching the cinematics and seeing the sister just fucking wreck shit. Oh, Valen. Yeah. Yeah. Valen's, Valen's like became quickly became like a, a favorite character that's towards um that's when you get into like the 60s and you start getting into the expansion stuff yeah, yeah. i've not touched that yet but she she in the cinematics she's fucking insane like she so is her mother super is powerful. actually a pretty cool character too um yeah i won't go much into who that is but mm -hmm. yeah there's there's a lot of really great characters in that. Um, you were talking yeah. about, uh, I believe you were talking about Eli Tarnas, the scientist, or not, not Eli Tarnas, um, Gadara, uh, Doctor Gadara. Yes, 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 Doctor Gadara. Yeah, yeah. You you chase down Watcher One, effectively, and then find him, and then there I made the decision to kill him because fuck it, I'm on the dark side. 
Uh, I'm basically killing everything, just FYI. Um, so, funny enough, one of the things I like is the different ties into like some of the classes, because mm -hmm. as a Jedi Consular, there is a reference to a resistance leader on Balmora called Greystar and uh -huh. how they sent in the agent, how they sent in, you know, an agent from the Empire to kill him, which is funny because that's also one of the missions for the Imperial agent to do on that, uh, on that thing uh, as well. Uh, that is quite, I mean, the game is fantastic. Um, just in terms of storyline, it feels like a single player game. It does, actually. It doesn't feel like an MMO. I've, do I've done one dungeon, found it very boring. Didn't know what the fuck I was supposed to do. It wasn't until right at the end of the dungeon where one of the people said, did you know you're supposed to kind of tank, right? And I was like, I am? Since when? I'm like, dude, you're a knight. You you've got, like, defensive abilities. I'm like, I don't know if I have defensive abilities. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um... So I don't I don't care for that, but I do love the storyline. Storyline is absolutely so, incredible. The Jedi Knight is one of my favorite storylines, mainly because when you start getting into the whole like later on stories, you find how well the Jedi Knight ties into that specifically. Um, oh, nice. The other one I recommend for you that I that I highly recommend is the Sith Inquisitor because that one's really cool too. I think um, just I, because. I think we made a, a Sith Inquisitor for the stream. So whenever I play it on Twitch, I think we made a Sith Inquisitor for that. So that's the one that I'll be playing on stream. Bounty Hunter is pretty fun too if you're a fan of the Mandalorians. Um, I've not cool. watched the Mandalorians really, so I wouldn't know. But I've heard I should. Uh, I've just not gotten into it yet. I sort of took a detour from Star Wars and got into Star Trek, and now Star Wars just feels a little empty to me. So I'm going to have to basically watch all six of the movies again and then probably watch some of the series that's been made around it because fucking Star Trek is insane. But anyways, <laughs> anyways. Did you, ever, um, did you ever play KOTOR 1 and 2? No. I, I'll be honest with you, this is my first, no, this is my second Star Wars game. Uh, so I played Star Wars The Lost Jedi, uh, the very last one that EA brought out. Absolutely incredible game, fucking phenomenal story, phenomenal gameplay, uh, and then Star Wars The Old Republic. I've always been more of a Star Wars movie fan than the games, so I've never actually gotten into the games. So the, Knights, the reason I ask is because the Knights of the Old Republic uh, 1 and 2, there are... Um, there's little references like you said you were on terrace like you if, if you've played the two you understand how terrace is destroyed and you understand more of the rat ghouls ah. but you also under you also understand did you go to a ship called the endar spire on terrace i think so because when i ran past it my robot fuck whatever my robot is called kept saying famous Seven. ship yeah, yeah yeah he kept saying famous so, ship as we ran past it the whole time so in KOTOR 1, the Endar Spire is the ship that you, the player character, start on. Wow. That gets destroyed over Terrace. Nice. All right. I'll definitely, hey, I'll give it a go. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can get my hands on uh, Knights of the Old Republic and I'll, I'll give it a go. Thank you. So Thank you for is, suggesting it. This is... The main reason why I wanted you to play this game was because I know you, being a storyteller, will love this game because I love yeah. the story of this game. As a matter of fact, I play this purely for the story. Yeah. Um, it's just so great. I have to be honest with you. I don't see how anyone would play it for anything other than the story. Um, like I said, gameplay is incredibly subpar. It, it really shows its age, you know, uh, just in terms of its gameplay, in terms of... Uh, combat styles, combat flow, it all feels a little bit awkward. So the story really is the thing that carries it. Um, and then, of course, just uh, an eye-opener on what monetization can look like in a free-to-play game is Star Wars The Old Republic. Like, I, I didn't know this, but you can only have three action bars. If you want more action bars, you actually have to buy them off the fucking cash shop. Um, and then, like, 
you can only upgrade your inventory space that much with gold before you have to be a subscriber. And then you still have to buy upgrade space, but you can only buy that upgrade space if you are also a subscriber. Um, you know, so they, they do dip their hands quite deep into the, the cookie jar in order to get you to spend some money. Um, but then considering that the game is free and you also get all of the expansions with a single sub, I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, you know, uh, you said you had a second part of the question or was it literally just uh, just the Star Wars and my favorite character? It, it was it was just the Star Wars and the favorite character. But nice. um, have you run into Malgus yet? No. I want to. I'm waiting for I him. I think we'll like Malgus. Malgus is the Star Wars Chad. If there is a <laughs> if there is a Chad of this game, it is Malgus. I mean, I've seen him in the cinematics. He seems OP as fuck. So um, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to running into Darth Malgus at some point. Right now, the other... I'm dealing with Darth Al Al something, the the guy whose son I I killed. Oh, yeah, you're dealing with Angrel. He's yeah, pretty yeah. cool, too. Yeah, right now I'm dealing with Angrel, and then I don't know when we'll deal with anyone else. Because, uh, yeah, I basically just last night told Angrel that I can't wait to kill him. And then Kira, my follower, disapproved quite heavily with me telling someone that I can't wait to kill him. So, uh, we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'm close to being kicked out of the Jedi Order. Because I'm doing all of the things that my Jedi Master told me not to do. So yeah, I'm probably soon going to be tossed out and become a free agent or some shit. But we'll see. Um, without spoiling it, there are there are ways where you can kind of do stuff like that later. But yeah. you don't really get kicked out. They just are more along the lines of like, we really shouldn't have let you advance this far. And so. <laughs> Easy. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We'll we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. So one final recommendation before I hop out of here. Um, yeah. As you get higher in the story, let me know what you think of a character by the name of Wanda Benico. Wanda Benico. Okay, I will. I, I don't know who that is yet, but I'll definitely tell you as you soon as I will find out. All right, I will. Uh, one final question from me to you. Is there okay. any really hot chicks in Star Wars? We're talking Sylvanas level, Menphilia, Yestola level hot chicks in, in Star Wars. Uh, there's a few. Uh, specifically, once you reach the end of Alderaan, depending on how you feel about your master, I don't know. Um, because Master Orgus is kind of cool, in my opinion, he's incredibly powerful and one mm -hmm. of my one of my favorite people. Okay. Uh, towards then, there's um, there's really no like, at least not from what I've seen. It, it all just kind of depends on how you feel about characters. Um, there's a couple where you're like really happy, mm -hmm. um, like when Mao like. A few times when characters show up um and then there's the only real one i think was probably with probably with uh master orgus and i think one other but it's been a while so it's escaped me it's escaped me okay uh i see people saying something about lana here and bastilla shan or some shit and then someone saying some companion for the sith warrior um so uh We'll probably there's, have there's, to see. Yeah, there's, oh. def there's definitely ones that'll make you angry. Uh, the only one I could think comes close would probably be Darth Mar when you interact with him because a lot of people liked him. Okay, that sounds that sounds cool. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. I'll probably tweet out whenever I discover a really hot chick in the game. I'll tweet out. Oh, by the way, I found my waifu because that's basically all I need right now. As a Final Fantasy weeb. Uh, I need my waifu. This game has everything but the waifus. So it's a you tie know. between me and for me, it's a tie between Lana and uh, Kira. All right, Kira is pretty cool, but Kira is no fucking Renfilia and Yastola. She's definitely Kira gets no more Hilda. interesting the more you the more you do that story. Have you gotten to the point where you were supposed to meet her brother? No, no, any of that. It no. So when you get there. 
she starts she starts getting more interesting. Um, okay. And I think you're just gonna like Scourge. I won't tell you who he is because okay. you'll meet him later. Okay, cool. But you'll like him. All anyway, right, I'm gonna hop out of here. Ramnax, so. thank you so much for the question, bro. Really appreciate it. Take care of yourself, brother. I will, and you keep doing what you're doing, brother. I will. Thank you very much. Peace out, man. <laughs>